So first what we will do together, whatever, whether you are in standard 1 or 2 or 3, you are always asked, asked to write myself. They will say myself. The teacher says write something about your myself. Okay, what, what will I write? So you are going to write about yourself. So what are the things you will bear in mind? Sometimes the teacher discusses with you, but the sometimes teacher expects you to think and after you write, she helps you. Now let us say we are going to write about myself, okay? We are going to learn together to write about myself. When you say myself, you will say, what is my name? Whether you are a girl or boy, you will write, my name is. Okay, Susan, my name is Peter, you will write. Then you will write, how old you are? My name is Susan and I am 7 years old. I am studying in whatever name of your school, you will write. Okay, and then what else you will think of? Next thing you will think of your parents. What about your parents? You will say, my father, my father works in the bank and my mother mother you will say she is a housewife, homemaker and you will say my father works very hard, he is always punctual to his office, he loves, my dad loves all of us in the house, he keeps us happy and things like that. Then when you talk about mother what will you write? You will say mother is a cheerful person, she is the one who runs the home, she disciplines all of us. So that we become good children. She cooks delicious meal for us. And she makes each one's daddies, your brothers and yours, everybody's in this. Mommy thinks of and makes lovely, delicious food for us. Yes. Then what else? You can talk about yourself. You are talking about myself. Then you must say, I, I enjoy doing. I have hobbies like reading, gardening collecting stamps, whatever. What is your interest you can put in? Then what else will you say? As a family, daddy, mummy, brother and you, what do you do together at the weekend? Yes, weekend, we go out together. Maybe only Sunday you can go. Dad works on Saturday. Sunday we go out together as a family, enjoy ourselves. Share things, what happened? Then what else you will say? Finally, you will say, I have lot some friends, some special friends have collected at school and the neighborhood. And we spend time together learning, discussing. So that is myself. So you are writing a short composition if you are only in the first, second, third standard. A little longer if you are in the standard four and five. So shall we write a, a little bit? And you see, remember, composition helps you in scoring mark for the exam. And that's what we are targeting, okay? Helping you to help yourself, all right? So now, myself. So what are you going to write first? What's your name? So you will say, my name, my name is Susan. So you look, my name. What's my name? My name is Susan. I am seven years old. I am seven years old. Never write long sentences. Make your sentences short and crispy. You will make a mistake. Never make a mistake. My name is Susan. I am seven years old. And I am you go and say, and I am, don't do that. Short sentences. Next you can say, I am studying in, okay. I am 7 years old. My name is Susan. I am 7 years old. I am studying in standard 3A. I am studying in standard 
do not write short form std for everything write the full spelling that is learning english so i am studying in standard 3 a that means a section okay my school my school is very close to my home huh? so next is your age how old are you name age class now where is your school if you want you can write the name of the school but where is the school that's very important my school is my school is very close very close to my house and if your school is very close to you you are very lucky you are not spending time traveling you can be on time always punctual to school so what else will you say now you said your age your name age class school okay now as a child you finish saying about yourself but what what is the extension your family so when you finish saying about yourself your age class school the next thing you have to talk about your parents my father next you said this now my dad your father or my dad my dad works in a bank in a bank he is very responsible person he is always punctual to his office now my dad works in a bank he works very hard he works very hard that is an example for you you also need to work very hard he works very hard he takes care he takes care of all of us so what have you done here you said about yourself name your age your class where is your school next your father what's your father what's your daddy my dad works in a bank he works very hard he gives you good example you have to work hard in your studies also he takes care of all of us now what about your mother my mother is a homemaker my mom is a what's your mom my mom is a homemaker what does she do she takes care of us she cooks delicious food for us she takes good care of all of us she takes care of daddy she takes care of there is grandparents and each of our needs what else she do she what does she do she cook delicious food for all of us she cooks what does she cook she cook delicious meal for us delicious food for us now daddy mummy yourself your brother your sister what will you call yourself we are a happy family we are very we are a happy family happy family okay now what do you do full day monday to saturday daddy goes to work you go to school what do you do on sunday on sunday we go out and enjoy together on sundays on sundays on sundays we go out we go out and enjoy and enjoy together enjoy together so you said now enough about your 
family. Now what about, what is that you like to do? You are talking about myself. What is it you enjoy doing? What are your hobbies? Okay. Now I love to, what is that you love dearly? I love to read. Yes, yeah, that is very good. I love to read books. Then what else you love to do? Then gardening, very good. You love to do reading books, gardening, what else? And collecting and collecting stamps, all kinds of stamps. Now that's all your hobbies. Then what do you do? I have, do you have friends? Yes, I have few good friends, good friends. Now, what do you do with your friends? We play, we study and play together. We study and Play together. Okay. Now, now this is called a small composition. What do you call this? Composition. And what is it? What is the topic? Myself. When the teacher says, write about myself, what are the things you bear in mind? Your name, your age, what class you are studying, in which school, where you go, you talk about your father, you talk about your mother, where does your father work, what does your mother do, whether she goes to work or she's a homemaker. How much of care your dad does, takes for your family? What does mother cook for you? Then, in your spare time, what do you do? You love to do some hobbies, keeping yourself occupied. You have some friends, few friends or many friends. You come together to learn together, to play together. Now this is called a short composition. On what topic? Myself. And what will you write? Remember, never add like, my name is Susan and I am seven years old and I never add all the time conjunction. Remember to keep your sentences short. When you write small sentences, you will never make a mistake. And when you write, be careful of your spellings. Let's see now. Myself. My name is Susan. I am seven years old. I am studying in standard 3A section. My school is very close to my house. So I'm very happy. My dad works in a bank. Now dad and mom, they give us, what do they do? They give you good example of what you must do. So my dad works in a bank. He works very hard. Telling you and me, if daddy works hard, you also must work hard in, with your studies. Then he takes care. So it's the responsible daddy. He takes care of all, all of us. Then what about mother? Is she working outside? No. In this case, Susan's mother, she's a homemaker. In the home, what does mommy do? Mommy, she takes good care of each person, all of us. Daddy takes care of daddy, takes care of Susan and if she has a brother. Then she cooks, being a homemaker, delicious food for all of us. Good for us, then we are happy family. We are happy family. We are a, we are a happy family. We are a happy family. On Sundays, what do we do on Sundays as a family? On Sundays, we go out and enjoy together somewhere. Then, these are your hobbies you are putting in. What, something that interests you. I love to read books, gardening and collecting stamps. Then, I have few friends, few good friends. You have many friends, but I have, Susan says, few friends. We study 
and play together. You can write more if you are in a standard 4 or 5 or 6. You can write more and you can elaborate on your hobbies. You can talk more about your friends and so on. And if you have a brother or sister, you can write about them. And if you have a special room for yourself, you can write about your room, what you do, how you spend the rest of the day after going to school and lots more like that. And you also can include if you have a pet, what you do with the pet. Then it becomes a lengthy composition. But this is a short composition. And if you write short sentences, correct sentences, you will get you will score good marks in your test and in your examination.